She's what could be described as a weather wonder woman, a meteorologist unafraid of challenge and change, setting the bar for women and minorities interested in the world of science. Our Colleen Campbell shares her story. June Bacon Bursey was the first African American woman to earn a degree in meteorology from UCLA in 1955, but that was only the beginning to the legacy her name carries today. Raised in Wichita, Kansas, Bursey became fascinated with science and math early on. Her daughter, who lives on to tell her story, says that the destruction and devastation from atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki is what propelled her mother, a young girl at the time, to pursue a career in science. She'd always been interested in science and math, and, and so this was a natural question for her. Following high school, Bursey majored in math with honors at a private school in Kansas. She then transferred to UCLA, one of the few colleges at the time offering a four-year degree in atmospheric science. And the first thing her advisor said is, this is not a career path for you. I, I want you should focus on home economics. June went through with the semester, ultimately earning an A in thermodynamics and a B in home economics. This was only the start of overcoming challenges thrown her way. She went on to work at NOAA and the Atomic Energy Commission, but her big break in television came unexpectedly. The chief meteorologist uh, robbed a bank um, in the early afternoon uh, and WGR needed a meteorologist to do the evening news. Around the same time, she made national news with her coverage of the Attica prison uprising of 71. By 1972, June Bacon Bursey was recognized by AMS with its seal of approval for excellence in TV weather casting. The first woman and African American to earn that award. Her career continued to flourish, and as years went on, her passion turned towards helping others pave their own way of success. Uh, she uh, funded the uh, June Bacon Bursey Scholarship for Women, uh, and she also funded the Meteorology Lab at Jackson State University. And you may know that Jackson State now uh, is the uh, university uh, that graduates the largest number of, of Black American meteorologists uh, in the country. St. Clair went on to say her mother never really retired. Among many more accomplishments, she later became a teacher, working well into her 80s. June Bacon Bursey passed away in the summer of 2019. I would like my mom uh, to be remembered um, as a uh, as a mother uh, and a meteorologist who never gave up uh, in realizing uh, that she um, could achieve uh, that goal and also uh, pave the path for others. We've got you covered, East Texas. Colleen Campbell, CBS 19.